you know. He, like, but I can understand, because like Pikachu's tail is better than like sword. It's basically the best sword in the game. Unless you count Captain Falcon's legs, maybe. Yeah. And even then, it might be the best sword in the game. So this matchup pretty rough on Fox, just because Pika is able to uh, edge guard Fox pretty easily. So one thing uh, Zero Bomb Jake wants to do is try to stay center stage and like keep his spacing with like back airs. Oh, it, it's looking like Zero Bomb Jake is fast enough that Zoro is having a little trouble dealing with it. Yeah. Couldn't quite get the ledge there. Zero Bomb Jake gets the first up smash. Yeah, he was just covering the option. Alright, so at this right. point, Zero Bomb Jake should be dead. Oh, oh no. Alright, rinse. Just getting the reset. Alright, yeah. Get some back on stage that time. So the, the thing about edge guarding Fox's Pikachu is that you need to go out to do it. Yeah. So if Zoro is still a a relatively new player, he might be a little afraid of going that far, uh, that far off stage, especially if he's not as familiar with the Fox matchup. Yeah. But that's really one of the things that allows Pikachu to have the incredible dominance that he does in this matchup. Uh, threw a laser a little bit too close to to Zoro there. And there. Yeah. All right, there he goes. Zoro going out a little. Yeah, it looks like Zoro's starting to get his composure here. Oh, as soon as I say that. Oh wow, random down smash. Gets him off stage. And I think that Zero Bomb Jake is absolutely right not to try to chase off stage. Because, like, in this matchup, you never want to be off stage. There we go. And Pikachu can do that basically anywhere off stage to kill Fox. Yeah. It's a super hard life for Fox. Jab up front. Oh, and he knows the percents. Right. Got some. Yeah, showing off some shines. Maybe we'll see those actually come into play pretty soon. Now that he's feeling more comfortable with them. Okay. Uh, Alright, yeah, so Zoro, yeah. Zoro not afraid. He's going out there. He's getting those kills. Stairs off. Stairs off Zero Bomb Jake. Uh, oh, wow. Looks like Zoro also knows the one of the main counter strategies to uh, to Fox Lasers, which is to, to crouch. Ooh, that uh, could have been enough air. Yeah, but most likely he would have been on stage. That's true. And then Zero Bomb Jake probably could have gone that edge guard right there. Oh, yeah, no tech. Oh, and there, again. Nice and oh, there we go, yeah, so, Zoro, once he started going out and getting those edge guards, that, that was the key. Yeah. Looks like he just needed a little confidence, and then once he got it, he just kept going, and that took the game for him. Now, one, one thing Zero Bomb Jake is, is doing wrong is like, he's throwing too many, too many lasers down in neutral. And he's getting, he's throwing him a little bit too close to, uh, to Zoro, and Zoro's able to get the free grabs. Yeah, oh man. So one thing like Zero Bomb Jake wants to do is like just keep his space, like throw out some back airs, and try to keep the, try to keep his space with the center stage. Yeah, it's generally a good plan. As as we've been seeing, the lasers typically aren't the most effective tool against Pikachu because he's so short. Wow, he was early on the up tilt, which is otherwise a very good option there. I'd sort of like to see Zero Bomb Jake reflecting some of those Thunder Jolts. Okay, yeah. There's the rough matchup that everyone yeah. knows. Ooh. That dab was exactly what he needed to stay out of the pressure there. Yeah, yeah and see, like, right right there, he went for a laser, which, when I don't think that that would, is really the most effective option against recovering Pikachu. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Just gets thunder jolted in the face. Uh, 
No. Not oh, quite. Just, just missed it by like a couple percent. Yeah, like 10%, I think. Yeah. Okay, he got the up top. It's not a bad oh. trade. Yeah. Forward smash. I think that the dash up smash would have connected. That should be it. Yeah. Alright, Zoro hanging on to a slight lead, but he's really ripe. There we go. Yeah, I do want to point out, Zoro went went to the ledge to wait out Zero Bomb Jake's uh, Angel Invincibility. And I think that that was a good option. Yeah, but I don't think it waited a little bit. Because it looks like he still had Invincibility. Right? Oh wow, this single hit to the jab follow-up. That was some swag. Didn't quite net him a stock though. Again with the jab up smash, he, he has been paying, or he's been earning great dividends from that jab up smash. Looks like his shines still aren't quite fast enough for him to feel comfortable deploying those in uh, in the game. Oh. Oh. What oh, a wow. bait by Zero Bomb J. Zero Bomb J realizing that Zero messed up his tech end and steals the ledge from him. Yeah, that, was, that was very good presence of Vine, just hold on to the ledge, what's he gonna do? Alright, this is game three. Given how close this game is, and also that we've already seen Zero Bomb Jake win, uh, win at least one game. This, this game, this might be a pivotal game three in seeing who gets to, who gets to go to D3. That said, this pool does also have Janitor in it, it does also have Mr. Sanus in it. Those are two players that I would expect to do fairly well in Division 4 pools. Yeah. Alright, that, that was good of Zero Bomb Chick to recover high. Because it looked like Zero had it. Uh, that was a weird double whiff where it looked like Pikachu's grab whiff over uh, Fox's jab. Oh. A jab down smash. There we go. Yeah. That should be just enough, yep. So zero bomb Jake, keep keeping the game pretty close, keeping it dead even, not not wanting to get to stock advantage or anything. That's a a couple times now we we've seen him sort of rushing the the jabs. It's like he probably just wants to box with one jab or or the one two jab, yeah. and it's very easy to get the rapid jabs to come out after that. Uh, that that's probably what happened right there. As, yeah. as you were saying. Uh, probably looking to hit it back off stage. But instead he gets yeah. jab up smashed. Uh, and again. No, nah, it's too still. Yeah. Yeah, so that, that's like four jab up smashes this game, and only one of them has killed so far. Yeah, it looks like Zero Bomb Jake doesn't have those double lasers on lock. Not quite. But able to get the up smash. Up smash is always on lock. He's definitely been a cracker jack with the with the up smash. He has been pulling him out left and right. Yeah. I think so far every kill he's had has been jab, like almost jab up smash. Yeah, it's it's been definitely most of them. We saw one jab for his man. Others, the shine coming into play again. Enter to the sidebar opportunity. Okay, very nice. Confirming that combo off of a uh, fast fall down air. Oh, I almost got the read again on the up smash right there. Or mm -hmm. Zoro overextending himself with the off ledge uh, forwarder. Just keeping him off stage. Oh, the up air. I wonder if that was supposed to be an up smash. Because that's the sort of circumstance that we've seen him up smash earlier. Oh, oh that'll no. do it. Uh, and, okay, good. He doesn't yeah. save him. Yeah, Zoro looking like he almost did a dash attack right there. Able to save. Yeah, he was, he's able to, to keep himself from giving him the stock. Or at least giving him another chance. Zoro taking the stock, but Zero Bomb Jake still with the stock lead. Oh, looks Second like hit only? Oh, I probably wanted to jab. That that forward tilt still could have confirmed into a laser up smash. Yeah. By either way, looks like Zero Bomb Jake still got yeah. the game on.